Buggies are a favorite nitro platform for many people because they're light, they're fast, they're easy to work on, they can jump, they're popular and uh, they're affordable and uh, the power to weight ratio is just great. A 21 really is overkill for a little buggy and uh, people do put even bigger engines but it's not required unless you're going to gear them to the moon anyway. The only criticism I've really got uh, for the buggy is that the motor can slide left and right uh, especially when you land on your side or your cartwheel uh, in a crash and as soon as you have a sliding motor then your clutch bell will move away from your spur gear and you'll end up with a stripped clutch bell so there's no way to secure the adjustable engine mounts to the adjustable engine plate other than the four screws underneath uh, which are eye screws or pan head screws a lot of people will change them they'll put countersunk screws with countersunk washers to try and get more grip but it doesn't always work and uh, you don't want to over tighten those screws because they're only going into the, the soft aluminium anyway and you could strip those and uh, that's an expensive part so how do you stop this aluminium piece sliding on top of the aluminium plate well all I can think is that if we get a drill and we drill some 2.5 millimeter holes maybe one there and one there or even just one in the middle okay and then put a, a 3 mil screw or a 3 mil set screw in there that should be enough to stop this from moving away so that's my theory I've never tested it and uh, you could do it on on this side because that's the side the motor always slides away if the motor slides that way uh, I've never seen that happen it's unlikely but it, it could happen and if it does your mesh just gets tighter so it's not uh, really that bad so if you don't want to do it on this side you could do it on the other side um, but you would have to remove the engine to, to do it on the other side. So this side here is a bit more accessible because all you have to do is set your mesh uh, with your muffler removed, drill your one or two holes, and then uh, you can put your set screw or, or a normal screw in there and it should be good. All right, we've just finished drilling the 2.5 millimeter holes. Uh, we've done two of them. So we started with a two mil pilot hole and then we finished off with a 2.5 mil drill bit. I didn't do a 3 mil hole because I want to use a 3 mil screw. So I might have to get the tap and die kit out uh, if this aluminium is too strong. Otherwise, yeah, we might just put a screw in and see how we go. Okay, so that's very tight, uh, probably way too tight. So a 2.5 mil hole seems to be too tight for a 3 mil screw. Um, so I'm not going to put a nut on the other side. And we can either just use a short screw and just leave it there. Hope that it stays. Another thing you can do is you can make up a metal plate that just goes around all of you and use, use that screw, put that screw longer and the metal plate just goes around. But um, you probably have to glue it into place and then drill the holes from underneath, which would be really hard. Might get the tap and die kit out. All right, so I don't actually own a tap and die kit. Um, so I've just worked the screw in, worked it out, worked it in, worked it out. I mean, that's all you're gonna do anyway. Anyway, it's in and uh, it's gonna stop the motor mount moving. Let's do the other side. Okay, both screws are in. The left one, I've already stripped it, which is okay. I've got no intention of 
removing it uh, as far as I'm concerned. Those screws can stay with the black piece of aluminium forever and uh, that should take care of the sliding motor mount issues. Um, a set screw would have worked as well but uh, you might have had to have used uh, a very small hex driver to work with a small hex screw whereas at least with the countersunk screw you can use something a bit larger. Um, maybe Traxxas screws are better if you could you know use a 2.5 mil hex driver instead of the 2 mil. That's about it. Alright that's done. You can't even see it. You have to actually know that it's there and look really close otherwise you wouldn't even know that those two little screws are in there. So now you've got a buggy and you can send it without sending it back to the hobby shop for repairs.